when it's slowly getting dark outside like you can see right here the best thing to do is just to switch on the lights in your room and start drawing start creating or just doing something productive here in my trusty sketch pad that contains a lot of drawings that I did before and that I uploaded on YouTube, like this one. Getting myself some reference from the internet and of course some coffee in a really, really manly cup. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this drawing with my ballpoint pen, with my trusty ballpoint pen that I've used so many times before in many videos and many posts on Instagram. It's linked in the description, by the way. Just starting to draw with no real, you know, guidelines from a pencil or whatever. Just measuring it out with your eye. Just eyeballing it. I love that word. Just eyeballing it. Yeah. And of course, then it's not going to be really scientifically accurate. Um, but that, that's okay. I'm not drawing for a biology journal or whatever or for a, for a museum so it's just for me just for my sketchpad and for you to watch so i apologize in advance to any marine biologists that might view my video and think to themselves oh man this guy really doesn't know how to draw scientifically accurate i think i skipped a little part i forgot to turn on my camera when i drew some more details on this thing and the thief but it doesn't matter I just thought about leaving it like that and not drawing in the jaw um, but in the end I think it's it was a good decision I mean yeah maybe it would have looked cooler as you know from a design standpoint without the jaw but well, I tried to be at least a little bit a little bit accurate you know for the marine biologist <laughs> For the marine biologists watching getting in some more shading and i really i really didn't need to shade it as much as i did um i even went back now when i'm uh, when i'm doing my my signature on the uh, lower right corner uh, i'm after that i'm going back in and doing some shading on the floor wherever this skull might be set up should be able to see it pretty soon when I'm considering the piece finished. I'm doing my signature right here. But then I'm going back in because I decided that, hey, I mean, th the ground also needs some shading, the floor, wherever this thing is setting. But as you can see, I was pretty pleased with it in the end. And now we're switching scenery a little bit um, and I'm drawing with a different tool uh, ne next page but new tool as you can see this Tintenroller it's called a Tintenroller which basically just means I mean I think a roller is something you know like like a, a ball like so I guess it's a it's a ballpoint pen is what I'm trying to say it's a ballpoint pen and it contains some darker liquid ink um, and also with this drawing, I'm coming in with no guidelines, just with the reference on my screen and just drawing as accurately as I can. So this thing is also not going to be 100% scientifically accurate, but I don't know, sue me or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not that critical with scientifically accurate. I mean, it's art after all. And since I'm not doing anything for a scientific paper or whatever, I'm not... I don't care too much about that. It, I mean, it's art. It's It should still be, you know, some creative freedom, I guess. But I tried. I tried my best. Now, why did I decide to draw fish skulls instead of human skulls? Well, human skulls are overused in art in general. I mean, try to find an artist or something or someone who has never used a human skull in, you know, in something. I, 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 I draw human skulls a lot. Like this thing I did at work. Just look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> On the cardboard. Because it was, it was in an artistic flow and so I just had to get something out there. 
doing some shading, tried a little bit more of a different shading technique on on that particular skull. A little bit more shinier. And I, I noticed that I was only doing predatory skulls or you know fish of predat fish of predatory skulls, exactly. <laughs> skulls of predatory fish. Because they look really really badass with their sharp teeth and more aggressive skull shape. Now I'm switching tools, using it to fill in the background with black liquid ink. This brush that I'm using, it's called an ink brush pen. Because it has literally a brush at the tip of it, you know, it doesn't have like a traditional, you know, um, pen tip. It has a literal brush and that allows me to create some really, you know, nice lines, some really crisp ink lines and also some roughness. Now these are the two drawings, number one, number two. Now if you want to see more, I post videos like this pretty often because they're really, um, they don't take as much time to make. Please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving this video a like for the good old algorithm. Check out my Instagram, some other links. Uh, on my Instagram I post a lot of stuff that I don't post here on YouTube. So go check that out. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye everybody.